Hey everybody, welcome to Falcon Plays Better Late Than Dead, episode number three. And I have no idea where we're at. I have no idea where we're going now. So at this portion of the island itself, I am completely blind from. So we're definitely going to probably run into some issues here. Now, is that... Speaking of issues, I think we might have just spotted our very first one down the line, assuming that turns out to be what I think it is. And if so, we're going to probably have to avoid it completely if I'm right here. But I'm still not sure if that's what it is, what I think it is anyway. Anyway, let's, um, we found some more oil here. Great. One of the biggest issues we have going on right now is the fact that I am not hungry. Well, I guess I'm a little bit hungry, I suppose you could probably say. But the problem is I have no other way, or at least I have no other knowledge of right now how to keep myself... Oh, that's a house right there. Well, how to keep... Oh, yeah, I do believe... I do believe that's something creepy over there. Uh, I have no other way of, like, uh, knowing how to get more food going forward. I have an idea, an inclination of how to, but... Excuse me? That's a crocodile. Or an alligator. Which one is it? Uh, it's the one that uh, doesn't hang out in the water the entire time, right? Uh, I'm not sure. I know there's, like, a way to actually be able to tell or if it's a crocodile or an alligator. I've heard it before. It's, like, you know... It has nothing to do with the name itself, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm an idiot, so... Don't expect me to know what that is. I can't open up these crates. This is more clothing again. Big surprise, right? Sure, I'll pick it up for now, but... I would love to trade in some of this clothing for food if that was an option, but... It's obviously not. Look at that guy, he's just hanging out, waiting for any person to walk by and be like, doo doo doo, and then just bite their fucking ass off or whatever he would do. Probably bite their leg initially. Bring you down and then he probably chops your head off. And there's another one over there as well. This might be where I know there's another crazy location at. Oof, speaking of crazy locations, how you guys doing? Pretty dead, huh? Yeah. I wonder how they died, that smell? Yuck. I want him so bad to open one of those body bags up, because I, I have a feeling, I have a feeling it's something wicked in there, man. Anyway, for now, let's see if we could probably hopefully find some food around these parts. I, this is, this is a new place for me, I've never discovered this area before, and I'm quite curious to see if there's something of value here for us. There's a way to get some more water, but it's not really a big concern. It's like a bunch of alligators or crocodiles going down that way. I wonder if that means I should probably go down there in terms of, like, you know, there being something really good. Usually when people have a bunch of enemies in the line, it means something good. That's at the end of that road. Am I brazen enough, though? I don't know. I don't think I am brave enough to actually undertake that quest on my own here. Can't jump over that. I like how this guy jumps from not being able to clear, like, a pebble to just jumping over a fucking entire house. His jumping just really uh, varies by a lot. Alright, let's find out what's in here really quickly. Maybe some more notes. I would love some more notes, some more lore, some more story would be great. Unfortunately, my stamina doesn't let me use my detective mode here. Come on, stamina. And speaking of which, we might want to have one of these apples here soon. Oof, might as well just have two of them then. And we might even have that third one now. Yeah. Alright, you guys. This is the last bit of food that I actually have at hand. So from this point onward, we better find food. Otherwise, we're kind of boned. I found a canteen. Huh. So you just be like a regular water bottle. Just continuously um, refill you up. Right? I mean, I would imagine so. If that's the case, I really don't need three portions of water here. So I'll hang on to it. But the next time we find another item, I'll drop one of these water bottles that we have. So that's all that's in here, huh? Just a canteen. Well, I guess that's pretty useful. Canteens do sound relatively useful in this type of environment. Let's find out what's in this house, though. Uh-huh, uh-huh. No note. Perfect. Let's find out what's in here first. Uh, bandage. Uh, no. I have enough clothing I can make bandages on the fly, so that's not a really big issue right now. And as long as I avoid combat, I really shouldn't need them. Now, what is this here? The workers have left. The scientists have also vanished. I think everyone went crazy. I heard that they are shutting this place down, although I believe the manager would not allow this. Bad things will happen soon. Huh. Scientists have vanished and people are gone. And the manager. The manager. Anyway, that's interesting. Again, I'm telling you, man, it's... I'm calling... Ooh, hey. I'm calling it right now. The uh, Isle of Dr. Munro. Or Moro. Another key? And we're completely overburdened. We have two of them already, though. Do we want to take a third one as well? I mean, I actually would like to take that one with me, but... Well, you know, oh no, not right now, Rain. Not right now. I'll drop the water and I'll take the key. 
Because uh, water's not too, or hydration isn't too hard to come by. All you have to do is shake down a tree, crack open a coconut. Rain, you're being a dick right now. I'm on borrowed time with the fact that I'm so hungry that I'm going to probably die. Alrighty. There's no way to me just for me to wait this out, so we're going to have to just run under trees and try to keep as warm as possible. I am under the inclination that... We need to make a fire again. We need to make some... Or we need to find some wooden sticks for the fire. How you come about that, though, is really beyond me. I've tried striking trees before. <laughs> I just had no luck finding these quote-unquote wooden sticks here. Something drop out of this? Apparently not. Okay. Let's just keep running under the trees. Try to keep as uh, warm as possible from the rain. And maybe we'll find something down the line over here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. hey, hey. Is that a... Is that a moose or a, or a deer? It's got antlers. It's a moose. It's a really... I think it's a moose anyway. It's a really weird um, environment for a moose to be in. I'm going to see if I can attack this moose. We need some food, man. Get over here, moose. Oh, I just struck that moose down. Where'd he go? Moose? Moose? Oh. Oh, it's, is it it's the same one? Same moose? It better be the same moose. I need you to die. Ah. Oh. Hey, get over here. Get your ass. No. You don't understand. I need you to die so I can eat you and then survive. You need to sacrifice your life for my own well-being. Where the fuck are you going? Where are you taking me? I don't think this is working, guys. I don't think I'm ever going to catch up to this thing. Oh, there's some more moose, though. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to catch up to it. I'm going to get lost from where I'm headed to. All right, never mind. Well, gave it a try. Gave it the old college try. It didn't really work out for us. I mean... We have to kill something, though, that's for sure. <laughs> for food, anyway. Not just because I enjoy killing. Make it sound like some sort of psychopath or something. Uh, what is that noise? Well, I mean, I guess I should be more specific. There's a lot of noises happening right now, but I heard like a... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe an owl? We need to hang out and get some more stamina back here, meanwhile. So, we should be able to do it here. Yeah, okay. Let's just shake down a tree. Get some of our stamina back and maybe... What is that over there? Nothing. I'm just freaking out at this point. A lot more coconuts. Not thirsty enough for those just yet, so that's fine. We'll ignore it. Stamina, come on. Come on. Keep going down. I need to progress here. Progression is inevitable. Uh, I'm just trying to keep my eyes peeled because... There's another moose dude over there. Seems to be a lot more animals definitely in the middle of the island. Which is where allegedly the science lab that we read about is located at. Is that a house down there? This rain is not... Oh, I see another, like, water tower. It's probably where we should be going then. See about just hanging out here momentarily. Get some more stamina back, shake down a tree. You know, your usual <laughs> routine. Get some stamina back, shake down a tree. You know, probably pop a leg, pop a squat, use a tree as a way to um, release your fluids, and we're fine to go. Alrighty, water tower, I guess we'll probably head to you. There's got to be something around you. What is that coming up? I'm not sure what I'm seeing. Is that the ocean? Yes, yeah, it's the ocean over there. Excuse me? For a second, I thought I had a chance to check down these things, and I was hoping that would be my... Tr no. <laughs> I was hoping that would be the chance to finally get those wooden sticks that we need to make a fire. But no, that would be way too easy. More coconuts, more leaves, yeah. That's not gonna do. Alright. Well, we found some shacks at the very least, and that's fine. I haven't been here before, have I? Somehow turned myself around trying to chase down that goddamn moose. No, we haven't been here before. At least I hope so. Now we're finding nothing here so far. Alrighty. Yeah, I don't think... There's like three of them, right? Yeah, I don't think we've been here before. Great. This is great. I love finding these new locations in this game. I'm telling you, something really crazy is... 
Something really crazy is right there, as a matter of fact. It's, a, it's called a crocodile or an alligator, one or the other. Oh boy. Could I kill you, I wonder? <laughs> I'm not gonna take a risk right now. But I'd like to. More clothing, oh, how surprising. And more oil, sure. We'll take the oil as well. So all the rest of this one? Okay. What's going on with Mr. Crocodilo? Just walking in place? Just swagging around. Alright, you, what do you have? Another knife. Oh, yeah, we have enough of those. Could I attack this guy? No, let's not risk it just yet. I might do it as a, you know, a test at some point when I, once I've given up and we can't find food anymore. But for now, let's just keep the fact, let's keep hope alive that I might just run into some more food. And that'd be swell. Food, not clothing game. I mean, I've had enough of that shit already, man. It's just clothes everywhere. Give me some food. Oh, another note. I'll take that. That's okay. I can't bash you open, can I? No. Can't bash it open. Is that how you get the wooden sticks? Maybe that's how you get the wooden sticks here. This is already bashed. Can I, you mean I can't pick this up and just come make a bonfire with that? I finally highly unconceivable. I found more bandages in some sort of house. We are surviving by drinking water from coconuts and using leaves to tie things into tools. I don't know how long I can stay like this. I'm using leaves to tie things into tools. That could be a hint right there alone. I don't really have too much time to mess around over here in crafting, but if that is a hint, we need to take advantage of it. I mean, using leaves to tie things into tools. What could that fucking mean what I'm carrying here at the very least? No idea. And there's, again, as I mentioned, I'm playing this before release, so there's absolutely no guides on to, like, how to look shit up right now. Alrighty, well, I give it a shot. We might as well pick this key back up. And continue going forward. And let's also have some water here. If yeah, we can at least feed ourselves, we can keep ourselves hydrated at the very least. And uh, we have the canteen still. Alrighty. And let's put the pipe equipped again. And let's just equip this knife, too. Alrighty. Let's, uh, bring this out. I'm not gonna fight that alligator or crocodile. I don't get the wrong idea as to why I'm preparing myself for battle here. I'm just preparing myself for a just-in-case scenario, which could arise. Fucking crocodile. I mean, there's, that crocodile really hasn't done much to me. I'm just upset at it just because I'm looking for food and I can't find it. So I'm taking my displeasure out on the crocodile itself, but he really hasn't really done much to warrant my hate. That warrants my fucking hate. Clothing and knives over and over and over. You'd imagine they were running like some sort of sweatshop here, not some sort of science experiment shit. Do want to fight that crocodile? <laughs> oh, good god. I mean, the crocodiles are going to run like the moose. He, he, he will hang around and fight me, that's for sure. Do I dare try it? Can I crouch and attack? No. What if I just sucker attack and run? Oh! No! No, 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 no. There is no such thing as sucker attacking crocodiles. And I have blood loss. That's fine. I can make advantage here really quickly. That's not a big concern. Uh, the freezing is more of a problem. Let's get back inside of the house and hopefully this crocodile does not know how to come up uh, stairs. <laughs> Fuck you, crocodile. I thought we were buddies, man. Let's go ahead and drop this key here momentarily. Go into crafting. Toss you over here. And cut motion added. There is our bandage. See, that I know how to make. It's not a problem. And let's apply this. Stop the blood loss. Speaking of stopping stuff, how about this rain stops as well? That'd be great. My frames are just dropping completely because it's goddamn rain right now. And... I almost feel like just leaving that old key behind. But as a matter of fact, I will. I'm tired of dropping stuff over and over just because I want to equip something. Alright, there goes the rain, thankfully. Let's, um... Head back out, I guess, because... What is that down there? Is that a waterfall? That could be interesting. I've never seen a waterfall before here. Let's just hang out here for a second, shake down this tree, get some more stamina back. Anyway, I guess we'll probably head towards that waterfall. That's not where I want to go to, by the way. There's another place with some creepy experimental area looking place that I kind of want to go to. But, yeah, fuck you, Leaves. Had enough of your shit. Let's go towards this thing. Does my health regain over time by itself, or how's the deal with that? I mean, I patched up the blood loss, but apparently my health did not 
do much favors for me. Which is going to be a problem once I start dying of hunger over here. That is a waterfall indeed. Yeah, this is new to me completely. Anything down here. Alright. Well, let's come over here then. Waterfall. I don't see jumping in there being a really good decision on my part. So I'm obviously trying to avoid that, but I do want to get a good look at it at the very least. Although it does seem to lead to... Oh! No! Oh, no, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, that's that's fine. Clip through. <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure why I, I clicked on space, but I was just trying to zoom in and see what's happening over there. The first thing I said not to do, and I fucking do. I'm not going to die from jumping down there, though, am I? I mean, let's be real here. Yeah, let's try not to find out. Oh, hey. Hey, hey, I see... Oh, yeah. I see something up there, all right. You know what? It's actually near that little spirally tree that I talked about. That's got to be a location of something for us. You know what, Falcon? Let's not consider suicide just yet. I, I would like to not die as a result of my impatience. I apparently would like to die because of my, the result of my fucking stamina. Never... Is that a drop? It is a drop. Let's just move slowly down through here. Stamina is being a pain in my balls, though, that much I will admit. Oh, it's another moose. That should lead us to <laughs> that scare the fuck out of me, I'm not gonna lie. That should lead us if we just run straight through here to that big watchtower that I noticed from afar. That's kind of where I want to go before we die of starvation here at the very least. Get an idea, and you know, you probably have to die a few times here at least to get the gist of it with no... I mean, if you're running blind anyway. Before you really understand as to what you should be heading to, where you should be heading to, how fast you should be doing it. Where's that watchtower at? Would it still be through here? God damn it, stamina! I'm just trying to keep going right now. Let's just hang out here. Here's what I think we do. We're gonna wrap it up here for today. Next episode, we either make it to that watchtower or we die. One way or the other, we'll probably more than likely wrap it up here. Either way, leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support always does mean a lot. I will catch you next time.